Alright, James here, and this is my first video of 2010. Uh, I hope you all had a good Christmas, and I hope you've had a good New Year so far. Here in the UK, it's been a kind of snowy start to a new year, really. A lot of snow. Um, now, I appreciate that I haven't been putting very many videos on lately. To be honest, I was meant to put some on before Christmas, and um, I did record them, I just didn't get around to uploading them and uh, I didn't wish anyone a happy Christmas so I hope you did have a good Christmas and uh, I don't normally make New Year's resolutions um, the main reason is I never keep the fucking things so I never bother to make them because I never stick to them um, but this year I'm going to make a sort of a, a sort of New Year's resolution um, it's not so much a resolution basically I'm just going to try and make an effort okay, to use my YouTube account a little bit more um, because uh, I appreciate it's been going a bit downhill lately. Today I'm going to do a video on how to um, make the platter on your turntable shiny again. Okay, I've been getting a few emails on this one, to be fair, and uh, a lot of people asking how do you make it shiny again? Okay, because it does go a bit dull, and it's understandable because um, what it is, if you're anything like me, and you slow the record down, you're always touching it to slow it down stuff like that and you just get crap off your fingers and that onto it and also as well sweat off your fingers tarnishes the metal so it goes a bit dull okay I'll show you how you can polish it up it's really easy to do and you're only going to use household stuff really domestic stuff you find around the house like uh, toothpaste and stuff like that so I'll quickly go through what you're gonna uh, need yes I did say toothpaste by the way don't worry I'll explain right uh, you're going to need probably a couple of toothbrushes, okay? I would recommend getting a couple. So nip down to your local pharmacy and just get a couple of little cheap value toothbrushes. Um, you're also going to need some toothpaste and if you want to go further, I'll explain in the other part of the video, um, then you're going to need some Brasso, okay? Now that sort of stuff you can get just from your supermarket or anywhere like that. You can also use um, any of your other favourite polishes like Auto Sol, uh, or um, things like that, just any other polish you want to use. Uh, now, another quick warning as well this could get messy, okay? So make sure you do this in an area where you don't mind if you make a little bit of a mess, okay? So I'm going to do it out in the shed because, you know, obviously it's going to be a bit messy. Try and do it like either outside or like in your garage or just somewhere where you can't, uh, where you can make a mess. Even just put loads of newspaper down or something. Um, so yeah, you've been warned about that, be careful, it is messy. Okay, so anyway, first of all, first thing you've got to do before you do this is take the magnet off the bottom of your platter. Now this is really easy to do, okay, I'll put a link in the description to another one of my videos where I'll show you how you take it off, but to be fair, anyone can do it, it's straightforward. Take the three screws out, pull the magnet off, that's it, simple as that, no complex here. Anyway, so. Once you've got that and you've got the magnet off the bottom of your platter, then you need to take it to wherever it is you're going to do it, where you don't mind making a bit of a mess. Okay, just going out into the shed. Oh man, it's freezing out here. Right, well, okay, uh, come out in the shed where it's like minus 150,000 degrees or whatever it is, it's bloody cold. Um, and what I've done is I've just laid some newspapers down. I've also put a couple of magazines and actual folded newspapers underneath just to soften it a bit because I don't want to damage the bottom of the uh, platter there. So might be recommended to put something underneath just to soften it a bit. All right, okay, so to start with, um, all you want to do is you've got your toothbrushes, okay? Now, before we start using anything, okay, you just want a bit of washing up liquid, okay? Just wet the end, I've got some water in here. Now it is steaming, okay, it's only warm, it's not actually hot, it's just because it's so cold out here. And uh, basically put a bit of washing up liquid on your, to on your uh, toothbrush, give it a wet, and then just basically go around and just scrub the actual platter around like that. Okay? Don't bother sort of rushing it, take your time over it, I know it's a bit of a tedious process, but the more time you take on this, the better it will look afterwards. So I'm going to pause the camera, okay, all you literally got to do is just go like that and just go around and scrub it, okay. Just imagine you're uh, brushing your teeth, okay, so just, you know, get that in there. Right, okay, so once you've done that, clean your toothbrush off 
and then grab your bit of t uh, tissue or cloth or whatever, I've just got a bit of kitchen towel, and just go around and wipe all the foam off, like that. Okay, so once you've wiped off all the soap, you now want to move on to the toothpaste. Okay, so this is where your other toothbrush, because this one's probably going to have all soap all over it, so this is why you want two. You probably get away with using one if you want to, but it's best to just get another one to do this. Okay, first of all, you want to wet it, okay, and, uh, oh, my hands are so cold, I'm going to fit a heater out here, it's so cold. Right, okay, so just put some toothpaste on there, and what you want to do is, okay, you don't want to do like what you did with the soap, you want to put some on, okay, and, oops, and actually apply it on like that, then toothbrush wet again, and then you want to tackle just a small area at a time, okay, don't go around and turn, just keep stay on one area for quite a long time because the um, toothpaste will take longer to work on metals and stuff. Now the reason why you use toothpaste okay, is because toothpaste is actually slightly abrasive okay, and it will cut away all the crap that's sitting on the top of the metal hence why it gets your teeth so clean. So that's why you want the cheaper ones that have got like um, loads of bicarbonate soda in because they're really gritty and they'll really cut back all of that crap. So again, you just want to take your time and just do, work a small area at a time and then move on and gradually move around the uh, whole platter. Okay, so you're not going to want to watch me do this whole thing, so uh, I'll pause the camera at this point. Right, okay, so I've gone around the whole thing. I've been doing this for about bloody half an hour now, but you literally need to spend quite a lot of time doing it, otherwise you will get a crap result. Okay, so once you've done that, now what you want to do is literally, this is the bit that gets messy, okay? You literally want to soak your toothbrush and get all of the toothpaste off and then literally just go around with water and just put loads of water on there just to get all of the foam and bubbles off, okay? Okay, so once you've done that, obviously there will be some left over. You're not going to get it all off, but just dry it off with a bit of kitchen towel or rag or whatever it is you're using. And uh, it doesn't matter if you leave any on there. At least your decks will smell minty fresh. That's my phone. Bear with me. Okay, so I've dried it all off and uh, I think you'll agree that looks pretty nice now. It's pretty nice and shiny. The toothpaste has done its job, shined it up. Now, if that's shiny enough for you, okay, stop here. Okay, that if that's shiny enough, good, fair play, that's it. Now, some people, I got the message from some of the comments and emails that were left that some people are going for like the ultimate bling, okay? If you're going for like a really nice clean shine, okay, you're not gonna do that with household products, okay? You're gonna need some of this stuff, okay? Now this is Brasso. Uh, it's basically just metal polish, okay? You could use like Auto Soul or something like that, just some other kind of metal polish, but we're gonna use Brasso for this, okay? This stuff, quite cheap, you can get it from your supermarket pretty much anywhere. Well now, first of all, okay, uh, a couple of warnings, this is ammonia based, okay, which means it stinks like shit, so do it outside or in a well ventilated area, seriously. And secondly, as well, this stuff's not good for your skin, okay, so if you get it on your skin, wash it off, otherwise you will end up with hands like a camel's arse cheeks. Okay, so start with, give it a good shake. Okay, now, when you do this, you're going to want a couple of bits of rag. Now, I've just got an old t-shirt, which I've cut up, okay, you want, um, put one bit aside for now, okay and you want one bit of rag and you want to make it into like I suppose a little cushiony kind of thing like that okay and then take the lid off your brasso should have done that first really <laughs> bit disorganized there but there you go right okay so what you want to do then is put a bit on your rag like that dry as well make sure it's a dry cloth or rag like that and then you want to put it on and then just work it in in like a circular motion like that okay and you're not looking to put loads on and smother it, you're just looking to put a thin coating over the top, okay? So once you've done that, move on, okay? Right, so I've gone all the way around, and once you've done that, you'll notice it's left like um, a little layer over the top, okay? Now, you want to leave that on, okay? Don't disturb that now. Now, what you want to do is, you want to leave that polish on there a good, you know, 10, 15 minutes to do its stuff. Now, because it's so cold out here, it's going to take longer, so... I'm going to leave this a good half an hour and what you're looking to do, you want it to dry till it goes like kind of chalky and it'll leave like a chalky kind of powdery residue all around it, that's what you want. So leave it until it does that, okay, so I'm going to leave this a good half hour, uh, I'm probably going to go and have something to eat because I'm proper Hank Marvin so I'm going to go and have something to eat. Okay, back in half an hour. <laughs> 